Hello everyone, this is Brett with Vincent Farms Ministry, and today's going to be kind of a part two of my second video talking about this has nothing to do about racism, we're going to talk about how they're destroying America. And when we look at communism, we can see the renaming of streets, the tearing down of statues, removal of history, burn books, ban certain movies, arts and music, censored speech, eliminate freedom of thought. Does that sound familiar? Is that not what's happening right now? And do you think once you give up those freedoms, you're going to get them back? I mean, look how hard America fought to get to where it is and to have the freedom that we have. People died. People bled. But man, they're sure easy to throw away. And these groups like BLM and Antifa are nothing but communists to wanting to destroy America just like the Bible talks about the one world government that's their goal this this globalism and Antifa is connected to 20 different communist groups Black Lives Matters was started by three communists and these people that think they're standing up and they're so woke and they're standing up for the cause are nothing but useful idiots being played see these Marxist mobs we're witnessing the vandalizing and destruction of churches and historical monuments and burning of businesses and looting. It's time to wake up. They're destroying America. They're taking away our history. They're renaming street signs. They're, they're making a whole different place that you're not even going to be able to recognize that it's America. Sometimes I wake up and can't even... And here on the news and things that's going on, it's like, where am I? And that's another thing, the media is just trash. The mainstream media is just trash. They push nothing but the globalist agenda. Look at the COVID thing. When they all they did was push it, oh it's so horrible, this, 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 all these models, millions are gonna die. None of that happened. The death rate is so low. Then you just see this critical, this collective thinking. And this is being taught all the way in elementary schools where they're teaching people in groups to think all together. There's no individual think. And we see that and we're seeing all these people come together. And if someone speaks out, oh my goodness, be ready to lose your job. If you want to stand up for the truth and speak what's true, they're going to fire you. They're going to fire your wife that has nothing to do with what you said at her job that has nothing to do with you. We're seeing that. And there's something that I just can't stand is when people apologize for speaking the truth. They had the convictions to say what was to say what they needed to say to say the truth, but they don't have the convictions to stand behind their statement. And what does that get you? We see all these people apologizing after they speak truth and think, say something that we're all thinking and they get fired and then they go apologize guess what you're still fired you're not getting your job back so what was the point of that and another thing that we're seeing is evil is good and good is evil people are going out and doing the most horrific horrible things and they get praised but like I said earlier someone goes out and speaks the truth and they get fired and they're a horrible person the world's flipped so far upside down. There's so much lawlessness. But once again, this was all predicted in the Bible. And I've said this before, but I know a lot of people are like, well, what's the point? What's the point of doing anything? We know it's going to get worse. I'm just going to sit back and do nothing. But that's not what we're called to do. Because you standing up and speaking the truth could be evangelizing to somebody. And in the times that we're in right now, now is the time that we need to stand up and wake up and speak the truth in love and spread the gospel and plant as many seeds as we can. Because we know we're reaching that end. So this isn't a time to quit. It's a time to, to get out there and fight even harder. And then we're seeing these so-called woke social justice churches here. And they're just nothing but useful idiots playing and falling for all this. And the church needs to wake up. Because they're, gonna, they're gone. They're going to be left in the dust. And they want to destroy us. They hate us. We stand in the way of everything that they want. And the majority of these churches are going along with it. 
And I'm so blessed to be in a church that is the 2% of churches that speak up on Bible prophecy and stand up for the truth. And so many people are having a hard time finding a good, biblically sound church. But once again, this was predicted too. The apostatizing of all these churches, and we're seeing it. So we just, again, we're seeing the dismantling of America. And it's so sad to see so many people go along with it. I mean, just, just look at these things. I mean, they told you to put a mask on and you do it right away. But then everyone out there is contradicting back and forth it's bad or good, but everyone just falls along with the sheep. You know, I heard a thing I'm talking about this collective thinking, uh, everyone, or this group thinking, how there were seven paid actors and these seven paid actors were in on it and there's uh, one more guy so eight total one more guy this guy's not in on it and they have two pictures and they have a or they show them these lines and one line is obviously long and one line short well they told all the seven paid actors to say that the short line is the long line so they all picked that so when they get to that eighth guy and ask him which line's longer he can obviously see which one's longer, but he picks the short one because everyone else did. Don't be some sheep just following people around. Look for the truth and hold fast to the Lord. I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment if you like. Check out our Facebook and Instagram at Fencer Farms Ministry and get out there and stay in the good fight and God bless.